Today we're going to look at 10-4. This is adding and subtracting fractions with like denominators. All right. So, remember when we're adding fractions, when we add and subtract fractions, the, the only way we can do it is we have to have our denominators the same. Now, I'm going to take an easier problem like, say, with numbers, and I'm going to do it off to the side and give you a little example. So if I have two-thirds plus one-third, I can say I'm really just taking the numerators, two plus one, and putting it all over three. And when I simplify that, that becomes three-thirds, which is equal to one. So notice, the only thing I'm manipulating are really the numerators. We're going to do the same. Same thing with the variables. So when I add x, since my denominators are the, the same on number 1, I'm going to add x plus 3x makes all together 4x's over 10. Now I can divide out a common factor of 2 out of 4 and 10, and I'm left with 2x over 5. Now pause the recording and try and do number two on your own. Now check your work. You should have five minus two all over seven x. Five minus two is three, and three over seven x cannot be simplified. Now, when I have a subtraction sign, what that really means is I'm subtracting that entire fraction. So I have to subtract that entire binomial. So that negative is going to have to be distributed in the numerator only. Okay? So let's try it. 4m minus the quantity of 2m plus 1 all over 5. I distribute my negative and I end up with 4m minus 2m minus 1. And when I simplify it, I get 2m minus 1 all over 5. All right, pause the recording and try the next two on your own. Actually, try number 1 on your own. Now check your work. 5n plus 7 all over m plus 3. This can't be simplified anymore. Now in number 2, I have y squared minus 4y all over y minus 4. Now we have to add a little bit of chapter 6. We have to factor our numerator. So I'm going to divide out a y. And then I'm left with y minus 4. If you notice, now I can divide out y minus 4 over y minus 4 common factor. Now remember when I simplify and divide out that common binomial, it, the binomial must look exactly the same. You can't just divide out the y's. So what we're left with is y. Next one, adding part of chapter 6. So now, step 1, going to um, I think I would do this first. Yeah, factor out that denominator. Um, because what does that really mean? So let me go back and take a step. Remember what adds to negative 35 and adds to 2. What multiplies to negative 35 and adds to 2. And that becomes positive 7 and negative 5. So this factors to x minus 5 times x plus 7. That's the denominator. And then I've got my x over the denominator minus x plus 20 over that same denominator. Now I have to combine, distribute that negative to everything in the numerator to the right of that minus sign. And I get x squared minus x minus 20. Now, 
In order to be able to simplify this, I'm going to have to factor that trinomial. So I'm left with x. I'm going to do my x marks the spot. What adds to negative 20, multiplies to negative 20, and adds to negative 1 is a 4 and a 5. So about negative 5, positive 4. Okay. And now we see we can cross cancel the binomials x minus 5 over x minus 5 and we are left with x plus 4 over x plus 7. Okay, questions? <laughs> I guess not. All right. Number four. Factor the denominator. Why don't you try it this time? Pause the recording and try it on your own. Now check your work. When I factor that denominator, I get a 2x over x minus 3. Now remember, as I, I'm going to put it all over 2x minus 3, and look what I'm left with. x squared minus 9. Hopefully you recognize that as a difference of squares. x plus 3, x minus 3. And now we see we can divide out our common factor of x minus 3, and we are left with x plus 3 over 2x. All right. Take a minute and pause it and see if you can do 5 and 6. Now check your work. Factor your denominators. Combine your numerators. Factor the numerator and then cancel out. We're left with 3 over x. Factor your denominators. Number six, combine your numerators, GCF the numerator, and then divide out your common factors. And you're left with 2 over x minus 1. I'm going to take a look at that for a minute. All right, moving on. Now again, I have to, it's already factored in the denominator, so I just move on. I distribute my, that negative into the second numerator. Now, should I factor this as a lead coefficient or pull out a GCF? Actually, I'm going to pull out a GCF first. And then that looks like something I've seen before, which is x plus 4 times x minus 5, you see we're left with 2. And that's it for adding and subtracting with like denominators.